So the related formulas are the following. Kw equals Ka times Kb for the first one. Uh, for the second one, pKa plus pKb equals 14. So those two are going to vary also. Uh, for the next one, Kw equals the H plus concentration times the OH minus concentration. And then for the very uh, last one, pH plus pOH equals 14. And you have to think, like when you see, say, the first formula, these are conjugates. So Ka is for the acid, Kb is for the conjugate base for the acid for the conjugate base. Or you can say for the base and the conjugate acid. And then we've got the acid and the base strength again, and then the acid and the base strength. Yeah? So basically, um, then H is the same thing as pKa? pH is equivalent. Uh, it's similar to pKa in that the smaller it gets, the stronger the acid strength. But pH is based on concentration. And because it's based on concentration, it will change. So you could have, for example, a uh, pH 1 HCl. Or you could have a pH 0.5 HCl. Or pH 0 HCl. So the pH has changed, but the pKa for HCl is going to be constant. So for a given uh, thing, just like Ka doesn't change for reaction, pKa or Ka is not going to change for a given acid. So the acid will always have the same Ka value. But the acid pH can differ, it can vary. Okay. But there um, addition, when you add them together, their relation is the same as pKa and Kb? Yeah, yeah the, the formulas, I, I don't know what, they're kind of complementary, I guess. They, would, they look similar, but the values would be different. But yeah, they look really similar, and these two should look really similar, too. Yeah. Um, what you're going to see, uh, we're usually going to be calculating pH, um, because that's the most common measured value in a lab or by your, say, pH meter. Uh, but you're going to see, when you look everything up in tables, it's always going to be Ka and Kb and stuff like that, because those are not going to change. So it's easier to tabulate those. You don't have to list, oh, for this concentration it's this, for that concentration it's that, which you would have to do for pH. So most of the time we're going to be calculating these, uh, knowing what these are. So uh, for a given problem, you'll have, say, a reaction, and it'll have a Ka listed. You'll use that Ka to find pH. But then you'll be given another concentration of the same acid, you'll use the same Ka to find the new pH. aren't necessarily conjugates of each other, but what they describe would be conjugates. So if you want to use that top equation, Kw equals K times Kb, you need the Ka for the acid, the Kb for the conjugate base, and that would calculate out to be Kw. You can't use any random Ka for, and then another chemical species, random Kb, to multiply them together to equal Kw. It has to be the Ka and the Kb of two conjugates that will multiply together to be Kw. Okay. 